Yo, what's going on? Pope Michael back with another video, and today we got a boxing reaction. Now we're gonna be reacting to Iron, I think his nickname was Iron Mike Tyson, the hardest puncher in boxing ever. Now Mike Tyson is a pretty household name, so we already know what to expect from this video. Last boxing video I watched with Canelo, whew, he has some crazy knockouts in that one. So I already know Mike Tyson is gonna come with <laughs> bulldozers to people's faces. So we're just gonna jump right into it, Mike Tyson. Hardest puncher in boxing ever. How do they even like tell who's the hardest puncher just by like how the dude falls after he gets hit? All right, let's go. In another preliminary, he's been mentioned as a Shout out the world of boxing for this video. Uh, can we assume that Michael Dokes is one of the prospects? Come one, come all, because nobody can get close to me. Then he was close. dangerous. I know he was dangerous. Heard a lot about this dude. In the spring of 1985, Everybody one special heard about young man had his debut fight. Back then, no one knew he was destined to become one of the most recognizable boxers in history, Mike Tyson. He broke into the ring, demolishing one opponent after another oh, on his path. Oh, his oh, youth, oh, speed, and powerful oh, onslaught oh, made his fight oh. spectacular. In this episode, My boy had we all will the show belts. you the destructive power, oh. the lightning speed, and the malicious aggression of the legendary Mike Tyson. My boy is trying to kill There's you. never any doubts in my mind because I'm the best in the world, even though a lot of you don't like to hear it. I just, it's fact, I'm the best, you know what I mean? I sometimes, I don't want to believe it myself, but it's the truth, I'm the best. <laughs> you gotta have that mentality, especially as a boxer. Mike Tyson versus Ricardo Spain. The fourth fight in Mike Tyson's career took place on June 20th, 1985 at Resorts Spain. International, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Mike Tyson's fourth fight. First fight in front of a big time audience though. This time not in Mike Tyson. After a series of 12 unanswered strikes by Tyson, oh. Spain tried to mount a comeback with a clinch. In an <laughs> instant, Mike hits with a left hook, sending Spain to the deck. Mm. As Ricardo Spain has already found out. Boy, <laughs> Boy, that was, fast. That was Boy, quick. That was I didn't even see that. On the ropes, Ricardo rose at the count of eight. As soon as the referee gave the command to continue the fight, both boxers went on the attack. Both missed their targets, but Mike Tyson was faster <laughs> and immediately landed a left hook to Spain's what? jaw. My boy. Ricardo's knees bent, which saved him from two more blows, but the referee stopped the bout. Well, that's pretty cool. Mike Tyson walked over to him. That's pretty cool. See if he was okay. It's respectable. Ow! Mike Tyson versus Michael Johnson. Mike's eighth fight, which took place on September 5th, 1985. The fight, like most of young Tyson's bouts, did not last long. Only 39 seconds. After the first exchange of blows and a powerful left hook to the liver, Johnson was knocked down to the floor of the ring. <sighs> The body shot cooked him. Woo! The referee counted and gave the command to continue. The fight quickly began again, and <laughs> Tyson hit Johnson like with that? a powerful right cross, knocking him out. Ah! Ref, why didn't you just stop the fight? This dude didn't even know where he was. He just walked in with, oh, his teeth are gone. Mike Tyson versus yeah. Robert Coley. The 10th fight in Mike Robert Tyson's career took place on October 25th, 1985 at the Atlantis Come Hotel, on, Atlantic City, New Jersey. The scheduled eight round match began quickly and ended just as quickly, all in the style of the young Mike Tyson. In the first round, Tyson crushed this taller opponent at just 37 seconds, taking him down with a powerful left hook. Oh, you see his neck just snap back. I ain't talking about that hat. That's really respectable, though, how he would uh, walk up to his opponents after he just made them look like fools. See if they're okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, just go to sleep. Jesus. Mike Tyson versus Eddie Richardson. 
The 12th fight in the career of Mike Tyson took place on November 13, 1985 in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Sit him down. Don't get up. Don't get back up. Yeah, look, he said, should I do this? No, he shouldn't. There were a lot of spectators in the hall. He looked Everyone at the rest. Comfortable in anticipation of the next knockout. And the knockout came. One minute, 17 seconds into the first round when Mike delivered a left hook to Eddie's head. Clean. Oh, he flew. Knocked him off his feet. He punched a grown man through the air. My boy flew. He's over there helping his opponents up. Mike Tyson every versus month. David Jaco. The that 16th fight in Mike Tyson's career took place on January 11th, 1986, like at the Plaza Convention Center, Albany, New York. Each time Tyson tried to develop a new attack, Jaco oh. would resort to a clinch. Apparently hoping to tire him. That's not gonna work, bro. We know how to get out the clinch. After one of these combinations, a strike landed on David's head, and he found himself knocked down into the corner of the ring. <laughs> oh! Turn the cameras off. The blow was not too strong, and David found the strength to rise. Tyson, as in previous battles, immediately rushed to finish He's off his opponent. Well. Moving like a pendulum in front of his discouraged rival, he throws out another left side strike and again puts David on the floor that of the left ring. Hand. Tyson himself, probably tired of hitting so much, seemed to slow down the fight, now aiming for a single hit to end the match. Dang, he uppercut this boy Having to death. a monstrous left hook, he immediately strikes with a right cross to Jaco's head. David is back on the floor. He stood no the chance. referee had no choice but to stop the fight due to the three knockdown rule. Like, come on, man. He's uppercut his neck off. Mike Tyson versus William Hosea. After two 10 round battles against James Tillis and Mitch Green, Tyson denied any skepticism that he lacked stamina. True, it's worth noting that Hosea was just scared and quickly got knocked out. But this does not detract from the effectiveness of Tyson's punches. After a clinch, Mike catches William on an oncoming right cross and tries to develop an attack by embarking on a powerful series. Most of the blows glanced, but from the sheer number and the heavy pace, Hosea falls to the floor of the ring. Bang. He clearly was not eager to continue the fight and deliberately did not rise before the count of 10. The referee stopped the fight. <laughs> My boy waited until he said 10 and just <laughs> pretended he was good. He said, yeah, I had enough of this. Mike Tyson versus Lorenzo Boyd. The fight took place on July 11th, 1986 in Swan Lake, New York. This fight was one of a series of fights that Tyson held in the summer of 1986 already on the outskirts of a battle for the championship title. Boyd, a normal average boxer, could not mount a serious resistance and as a result was knocked out in the second round. Hey. Entering close range, Boyd tries to break through Tyson's defense, but to no avail. Mike himself, having waited a moment, inflicted a powerful right uppercut, but the overshot missed. Tyson calmly walks up to him again and hits him with his crown right hook oh. into Boyd's oh, core and then God. followed with a right uppercut. Lorenzo falls he to the ring floor. Nobody's there to catch him. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. He went straight back. Oh, my God. the body shot. The uppercut! <clears throat> oh, my God. Mike scary. Tyson versus Marvis Frazier. In July 1986, Mike met with Marvis Frazier, the son mean. of the famous heavyweight champion Joe Frazier. The son of the great Joe was far from being as strong as his father, who was his coach and manager. Tough. 
What Joe was counting on by matching Marvis against Tyson is not entirely clear. But when watching the battle, it seems that the young Frazier was hit by a truck. At the beginning of the first round, Mike cornered the opponent and hit him with a right uppercut. Frazier was shocked. Tyson immediately carried out a series of strong blows. His enemy fell. The referee out. started the countdown, but seeing that Bro, Frazier was lying sleeping. insensibly, Why are you he stopped counting. It was a hard knockout. He's sleeping. Frazier came to his senses in a few minutes. Tyson took only Look 30 seconds in the back. to knock out Frazier. Oh my. This fight was the shortest in the professional oh, career oh. of Iron Mike. Oh my God. Get that boy out of here. You'll never be like your dad. Mike Tyson versus Alfonso Ratliff. The fight against Alfonso was the last for Mike before the fight for the champion title with Trevor Burbick. <laughs> he just always Tyson looks ready quickly to go. figured out his rival, demonstrating the brilliant technique that distinguished him in his early years in the professional ring. Running already? After waiting a moment, Mike dodges to the left and throws a powerful left hook into Ratliff's jaw. Alfonso falls onto the ring floor. Ah. Yeah, just just sit this one out, bro. No, just sit it, sit, sit this one out, bro. Knee. He waits until the referee counts to nine. And gets <laughs> Look at how he's just staring at him. Don't get up. You know Mike you can't Tyson do anything. Mike Tyson rushes to finish and shoots a series of eight hits. Oh my Ratliff God. finds some relief in a clinch. After the referee breaks the clinch, we know how to get Tyson out of the clinch. Beating Ratliff near the ropes. Get him! Get him! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh. He don't know where he is. Finish him! Oh my! Oh my! Oh! My. This is a disgrace. All that height for what, my boy? Yeah, just sit down. My boy had a flat everything. He's not even... He don't even know where he is. Oh, my. He's just getting beat up. Rap! Mike Tyson versus Pinklin Thomas. The battle took place on May 31st, Pinklin? 1987. I've never heard At of At this him. point, Mike was the owner of the WBA and WBC <laughs> belts. Thomas approached this match with a good track record of a series of three victories in a row and was considered a serious test for the 20-year-old Tyson. My boy's only 20 right now. And at the beginning of the match, it seemed so. Thomas managed to cope with the pressure of Iron Mike for five rounds. Iron Mike. However, in the sixth, three-minute period, Tyson carried out a series of powerful oh. uppercuts and hooks from both hands, some of which landed right on his opponent's oh. jaw. Oh. Thomas stumbled, and then after another left <laughs> hook, crumpled him to the canvas. Oh my, he is just eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He did not have time right to get hook, up before left the hook. end of the count, nah, and the referee nah, stopped the match. blood on his shorts. It's worth saying that before this fight with Mike Tyson, Thomas had never been knocked down. So he knows what it feels like now. Oh, oh. oh my, he's not even blocking. Mike Tyson versus Tony Tubbs. The battle took place in the spring uh -huh. of March 1988. Tony in Tubbs. this fight, Mike defended his title of absolute world champion in the heavyweight category. The fight did not last long, ending in the second round with just one but very powerful left hook. After such a devastating blow, Tubbs could not even rise when the judge counted to ten. Had to change his name to Showers. With stunning <laughs> Dang. Mike Tyson versus Frank Bruno. The time of this fight just coincided with a difficult period in the personal life and career of Iron Mike. As for personal difficulties, he was in the process of divorcing his wife, and in his career, litigation with promoters. Tyson had very little time to prepare for the upcoming battle. Only a couple weeks of full training. We don't need time. From the very we first don't need seconds time. of the battle, Mike carried out an effective Stay attack ready. after which Bruno was on the canvas. It was a knockdown. <laughs> his legs! His legs! Oh! It's 
Bruno anyway. managed to recover and continue the fight, okay. sometimes showing good boxing. Way to fight it all back. ended in the fifth round when Tyson struck a series oh. of punches from which Bruno was thrown to the ropes. It oh. was there that oh. Mike began to continuously beat him, and it stopped only when oh. Bruno's team threw in the towel. Throw the towel, man. Throw the towel. Throw the blanket. Throw the robe. This dude is out. That's the first time I've, everybody, I've ever heard anyone say Michael Tyson. Isn't it Mike, Mike Tyson? Tyson versus Henry Tillman? M I K E. This was the first fight that Tyson had after losing to Buster Douglas. In June, Mike met with this amateur he offender, lost to Henry Buster Tillman, Douglas? who in 1984 got in his way on the U.S. Olympic team. Why didn't they show the Buster fight? No one had any doubts about Tyson's victory. But the fact that Tillman was terribly intimidated reduced the fight to the first round. One spectacular punch, and Tillman was down Tumble for the was count. Scared to fight. Mike Tyson versus Donovan Ruddock. This was a very interesting and revealing battle. Ruddock was a hefty Canadian who, of course, was afraid of Tyson, but not to the point that he would immediately fall, like Henry Tillman or Alex Stewart. Most likely, Ruddock was a hidden left-handed person, that is, a left-handed person standing in an ordinary left-handed stance. In general, a good but very limited what boxer. All his technique came down to getting to his signature hit with the left, something between a hook and an uppercut. But he certainly had a powerful blow. The fight proceeded in a bitter struggle with some advantage on Tyson's side. <laughs> in the seventh round, he hit Ruddock's jaw with a left hook. Oh. staggered and leaned on the ropes. Oh, his head is going. Mike Tyson rushed in to finish off the it's opponent, over. but the referee, Richard Steele, it's suddenly over. stopped the bout, calling a TKO. The decision was very controversial. I mean, he tried. After the battle stopped in the ring, a brawl began. After the intervention of the security guard, the fight was stopped. Tyson clearly Mike won. Tyson versus Buster Mathis Jr. The battle took place in December of 1995. Mathis held his defense and avoided Mike's punch as well, but this did not last long. In the third round, Tyson sent Buster Mathis to the floor with a right uppercut. What do you do? Mathis did not have time to rise before the count of 10, and the referee called a knockout <laughs> straight to the face what is he wearing you can wear that during a boxing match to protect yourself this is the world of boxing thank you for watching please <coughs> press the like button and comment That's the end of the video as well as amen you ever catch yourself in a dark alley you see mike tyson walking towards you bro run as fast as you can this dude is dangerous this dude no, i'm just kidding but um man if you made it this far i appreciate uh watching um wow this dude is strong but how can they tell like who's the strongest puncher like is there like a scale or something Anyways, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back with another video very soon. Like and subscribe. And I'm out. Dee!